Hi guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is part four of my DIY Dollar Tree Binder mini series. I've been loving sharing with you guys affordable options that you can find at Dollar Tree for your planner. And while I am using a mini binder, which you can find typically in the stationary aisle of Dollar Tree, you can also implement these tips into any planner that you're using. So let me, before we jump in, let me just note that I know that not everybody has the same selection at Dollar Tree. I live in an area where there are multiple locations around me and I have shopped around quite a bit for what has been included in this planner. So I understand, but I will try to continue to find other options for you guys. And if you guys would love even more ideas, I'll have other options for you in the description box. So check that out below. So far, what we've done is the cover, the inside, and a couple other additions, but we're gonna be focusing more so on the guts of the planner in this part of the series. So, thus far, I have decorated the cover of the planner and I've decorated the whole entire binder here, the front, the binding, and the back, and I actually used the wall decal for this. And this is the Main Street wall creations and you can find these wall decals typically in the photo section. Sometimes they have them in the stationary section as well. I also found some stickers which of course you can find in the stationary aisle but they also have them on end caps in multiple locations as well as the inserts here. These, I have been told that they can be found at Dollar General. Again, I will have all that I can find on these products in the description box. I also added tabs, and all of this is a part of the line My Plan, My Way from Three Birds Design. So the tabs, the inserts, and the pen loop that I have back here, and then we have this writing tablet which I Velcroed so that it'll stay in place. And I also had lined paper on the front here, but I decided to just go ahead and use photo paper, which you can find at Dollar Tree as well. So here that is. So I decided to put the glossy side there and we're gonna decorate this. And then we're also going to decorate this cover using photo paper as well, but I'm gonna flip it um, so that the glossy side is on this and this is gonna be a more matte finish. So. Let's go ahead and decorate this really quickly. I think I need to add some more tape or something because that's not working. I have used the Dollar Tree double stick tape throughout this project. I recommend using tape because the paper of these inserts are thin and using glue does cause them to curl. The glue that I was using was this one which I found at Dollar Tree which is the Avery one. So because this is a little bit thicker, I don't think it's gonna really roll, but the Dollar Tree double stick tape is pretty flimsy, but you can find double stick tape at your local craft store. I've been able to find it at Joann's, um, and of course you can always order it from Amazon, but I just love double stick tape because it's multifunctional in a variety of craft projects. So to decorate this opening page here, we're gonna be using some more wall decals and I'm actually going to be using um I have one here that says well I have one I have this one that says girl boss but I think I'm gonna save this for the dashboard that we're gonna be making in one second so for this, I'm just going to put plan and I'm going to, since this basically leads into the planning section, and I'm going to use these letters that I found and these are the poster stickers. So I'm just going to put plan along the edge here, which I think will be a nice little touch. So here's the L. 
and I even use these stickers in the planner that I currently use which is a half letter disc bound system not every planner that I set up I have used some of them I have such as like the ring planner that I set up and the bullet journal but I just love bringing you guys different options because I know people like variety and also planning supplies can get pretty pricey depending on what you're buying so I just love bringing you guys affordable options so here we have it it says plan this turned out cute before I stick it down I'm gonna try to get it to the edge as close as possible and for this little piece that's lifting Dollar Tree of course they have smaller glue sticks this is just the one that I happen to have in my area here. I'm going to take the scissors and cut that. So that just says plan and I could go in and decorate even more. But um, I don't think there's anything else that I want to add to that right now. So let me see if I have some from the other one because this wall decal does have some really pretty florals. So I'm going to take this one and just add it here in the center. And then take the smaller ones and layer those on the top and the bottom. So I really, really do love these wall decals. There's a lot that you can do with them in your planner and other craft projects. I don't know, do I want to stick that there? Do I want to... I feel like this just needs a leaf or something. So let's see. There we go. And I'll just cut off the excess. So there we have it. It's really, really pretty. I love florals and the florals that I added here match and complement the florals on the cover. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in. And the other thing that we're gonna go ahead and add is a clear dashboard which is going to protect this glossy part and then I'm gonna also put the photo paper here and we're gonna continue the florals onto this as well but let's go ahead and make the glossy well the clear dashboard I mean and this you can do this two ways so the first one I have this um, I have these report covers which come in a pack of three and the cool thing about this is that you get a lot of products if you're going the mini binder route. And this plastic is thin enough to where if you wanted to tip this into a notebook, you could. But I love that this basically folds out. So if you want to use this for the mini size, or if you have a half letter planner, all you have to do is cut it down the middle and you get four different dashboards. So here is the one that I'm going to be using for this. And I'm going to take one of the extra monthlies that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it and hole punch it. All I did was cut it down the middle. As you know, you can get hole punch, the hole puncher the single hole punch I should say at Dollar Tree as well even though now I see that a lot of people are looking for them and they are not as easily accessible as they used to be I used to be able to walk in Dollar Tree and find them all the time but again just check your location I do see that they have the three ring one so if you were looking to do this in your in a larger binder then of course the three ring one would work great and for that you would just take the report cover and cut it down the middle and instead of having four you would have two dashboards so option number one is to use the clear version 
or well option number one is to use the clear report cover I should say or you can do the same thing with the chopping mat I've decided to go with the clear divider just because it's thinner but I also I really really do like this a lot so let me make sure I punch the holes right here awesome it's perfect and another thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is to snip right in between to just cut a little slit this way you'll be able to take it in and out and move it around if you want to with no problem so it's kind of like that disc bound feel inside of here and you can do that with your inserts as well so this would be just fine to leave as is but i want to decorate it so i'm gonna see i don't know if the whole phrase will fit but i have this other wall decal and it says girl boss but i think what I might do is save that and put it on this notebook. Hmm, because I don't think it's going to fit. We'll see. It's not going to fit. But I do like this here. Another thing that you could do is add sticky notes here if you want to really maximize it and turn it into something functional but I really do like how it will protect this that has the wall decals and um, the glossy side of the photo paper last thing we'll do is decorate this and while I do have velcro holding it down it easily comes out so let me grab a piece of photo paper find it where did I put my photo paper hmm oh okay here it is so with this it's a little bit um it's a little bit it's not as um Holding it vertical, I should say, wouldn't cover the whole thing. So I want to cover everything and I'm gonna put the glossy side down. And for this, I'm going to use the double stick tape that I got from Daiso because I want this paper to stick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna cover everything because that folds directly up so that's not going to interfere at all covering the black part so that's what we're going to do they do have a smaller version of this but it's just blank paper and that wasn't really going to do much for me so i didn't get it i thought that it would fit better in the back and I'd be able to take the paper and hold push it, but mm, that wasn't the case. All right. So now, and I prefer double stick tape like this. The thing with the Dollar Tree one is that it's double stick as soon as you take it out of the dispenser and it can be a little hard to work with. I find it, I have found it definitely challenging with my nails. So what I'm going to do is line this up at the top and all around and then go in and cut the excess. And another cool thing that you can do with the chopping mat or the, the clear report cover is that you could make a divider for the week that you're on. I happen to have this thing here, this ruler, which is going to work great. 
And I'm also going to cut here as well so that I can move it around easily without having to open the rings. So if you are using a ring planner kind of system and you're wondering just, you know, how are you going to be able to move things around? I have found the solution. Well, I haven't found it. It's, it's been talked about a lot. <laughs> I won't even take credit for it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the sticker, the wall decal. Hoping this works. So I want to be able to fit boss on here. This one is way thinner than the other one. And of course you can also use poster board to cover this. Another material that you could use for dashboards or dividers is the um, those poly binders. Those work great as well. I've actually used those for my DIY sticker book covers. So that's a material that's easy to work with as well. Just trying to squeeze this on here. going to cut off that and that and then in the middle go ahead and put the crown and let's see if pearl I honestly don't even know if I just had that in frame. Now you can see it. Here we go. Okay, so the whole thing will fit on here. I don't have to cut any part of the word girl. That's okay. Let me just peel that up and peel this up. And then the G there I don't really like this one like the material of this one compared to the other ones the other ones were just thicker and if I wanted to move it around it wasn't a problem this one's giving me a little bit of difficulty I also just suck at doing things with my nails, so that's also a thing. So yeah, girl boss, and I could stick the crown right here. And then where's those little black things? Here we go. Girl, boss, 
Now I just have to go in and trim the excess, which is no problemo. And then boom, there we have it. And back into the planner it goes. And I like having this notepad here just for extra notes that you want to take. And if you don't want to bring the whole thing with you and you just want to take something out, you'll have this. But now it's also cute and decorated. So there we have it. I like this a lot better now that it's covered. It's not that ugly writing pad anymore. So that is it. Part five, we'll do a little more decorating and we'll figure out something for the stickers in this front pocket. So if you guys have any additional questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Be sure to check out all of the links in the description box, which will have this entire DIY series along with other related videos. And of course, any products that I can find, I'll have them linked as well and my blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you guys are not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.